I was born in Puerto Rico, raised in the Bronx. It was a long time ago. Um, I was looking at this one guy. He had two turntables. He had an afro. He had headphones on, and they were playing some music at a park in the streets. You know, they had, used to have these street parties in the, in the Bronx, in New York. And uh, I told my brother-in-law one day. I said, "You know what?" I saw this one guy doing something, I don't know what it was, but whatever that was, that's what I want to do. And that's how I forget about it. That's how I started music. Un poquito was had like a weird melody I had in my head, you know? It was, you know, it's just little, little melodies that you get, you know, that you eventually get lyrics for and you start writing lyrics putting the song together and then you get a guitar and you start working out the chords that's how I usually write my songs I think a lot of the songs that I write they're based on real real facts real events things that's happened to me and things that have happened to like maybe a friend of mine or a relative or someone I know so I take stuff from different people and mostly a lot of my personal stuff well, I think bachata is gonna it's gonna keep growing, and also it's gonna go through a lot of changes. You know, bachata maybe five years from now may sound different than what it's sounding now. But I think it's gonna definitely go through changes. You know, from all my travels and all the festivals I play at, I see you know even Chinese people, Japanese people dancing to bachata. I have a lot of fans in, in Japan and in China. So you know, bachata is gonna keep growing and changing. You know. Working with all the producers that I work with uh, in VR was a great experience for me because you know you're working with top guys, you know the guys that are the top of their game, and that's what I like to work with. You know I look for the best, and you know I try to bring my experiences, my knowledge of music, and put it together to get this blend of bachata that I have. You know my musical influences. You know growing up uh, was. Uh, Hector Lavo, uh, Frankie Ruiz, and now Mark Anthony, and also Romeo from Aventura, Anthony Santos, and you know, one guy that I really enjoy listening to his voice is El Torito. So I want people to see like the growth from Amiga to the new album Un Poquito, uh, you know, get to see the soulful bachata singer basically in action again. See you guys. I love you guys all. Thank you for your support. God bless.